Thank you for taking this Spinnaker course. Spinnaker is part of the delivery pipeline. It will take care of the deployment phase. You will have to get up to date with some other technologies if you want to create a production grade delivery pipeline. This course is covering just one but important part. What I mean by that is that this course is only explaining Spinnaker, but Spinnaker integrates with lots of other software. So if you're not familiar enough with this other software, you might have to take other courses that cover this topic or just read a little bit about them. It will definitely become clear once you start this course. Spinnaker can be used in conjunction with continuous integration technology. For example, it can be integrated with CircleCI, Travis CI, Bitbucket Pipelines, Jenkins, and TeamCity. In this course, we will show you how to integrate it with Jenkins, but it can be integrated with any CI. Spinnaker can deploy to all major cloud providers. You can deploy to Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, Azure, App Engine, and even more. You can also deploy to Kubernetes. The ones we are going to cover is Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Kubernetes. Let's have a look at this course overview. We'll first start with an introduction, like what is Spinnaker. We'll give you a Spinnaker example, how to use it, how to install it, and then we'll continue with the concepts, the Spinnaker providers, some deployment strategies that you can apply, and the pipeline that you can use. This is the more theoretical part, then we can really start deploying an application ourselves. First on AWS, we'll show you how to create a pipeline using AWS, then how to integrate it with Jenkins. I will explain you a little bit how to build pipelines in Spinnaker to then do different kinds of deployments. And then there's a big topic on deploying to Kubernetes. And Kubernetes can be deployed on any cloud provider. So this is a more generic solution. Kubernetes is a new technology, so it's really exciting to learn about Kubernetes and how to confidentially deploy on Kubernetes using Spinnaker. What are the course objectives? To be able to use Spinnaker, to get familiar with the continuous deployment ecosystem, and to set up a continuous deployment platform using Jenkins, that we'll cover Jenkins, AWS, and Kubernetes and then to create pipelines in Spinnaker to deploy on these platforms. We will do our build in Jenkins and then deploy on AWS or Kubernetes. And then to be able to use Spinnaker in an enterprise environment. And this is just the way that we work. We make sure that we cover things like authentication to make sure that you immediately have a secure cluster. My name is Edward Viana, and I'm a consultant and trainer in cloud and big data technologies. I'm a big advocate of agile and DevOps techniques. I held various roles from banking to startups. I have a background in Unix and Linux, networks, security, risk, and distributed computing. Nowadays, I specialize in everything that has to do with cloud and DevOps. My name is Jorn Jambers. I'm a freelance DevOps consultant and trainer. I'm a DevOps advocate. I worked in banks, consultancy companies, and startups. In the latter, I found my passion for DevOps. I have a background in Unix, Linux, Hadoop, database administration, networks, automations. Today, I help companies succeed on the public cloud. We both provide online training on Udemy. The course that we create are about DevOps, distributed computing, cloud, and big data, using online video lectures like this one. We now have more than 40,000 enrolled students in more than 100 countries. 